Welcome. <laughs> Be My Cat, a film for Anne, was released in 2015 and was directed by Adrian Tolfi. It stars Adrian Tolfi, and it's about an aspiring filmmaker who wants to make a film about Anne Hathaway. He wants her to be in it, he wants her to star in it, and he is absolutely obsessed with her and will do anything for her to be in his movie. Holy shit, this film was freaking wild. <laughs> So many things happened in this movie where I had to pause my laptop for a second and be like, did I just watch what just happened? Did, did I just watch that with my own eyes? And to make it worse, with 10 minutes left in this movie, my laptop decided to break. So yesterday I got to go buy a new one, which was fun. $1,300 down the drain. But this film is very good. <laughs> It is very disturbing. Uh, that's got to be the first thing that I say. And I will have to give a little bit of a warning with this movie. Because it is extremely disturbing. And is not for the faint of heart. So if weird disturbing things disturb you and are going to give you nightmares and all of that. Don't watch this movie because it is very disturbing. <laughs> There's no other way of wording it, there are moments in this movie that will just haunt you for the next couple of hours into the night. It is extremely nasty in specific parts, and I get to talk about it, so let's talk about it. So my first pro, of course, is going to be how disturbing it is. It is very effective at getting under your skin. It's so strange because you're watching this movie, it's filmed in found footage, and he's talking to Anne Hathaway through the camera, but it also feels like he's he's talking to you at specific points as well. So there's this weird mix of he's talking to Anne Hathaway, but he's also kind of talking to you, and he's doing these really creepy, disturbing things, and then like he just talks to you like, oh yeah, I'm normally not like this, or... Oh yeah, this is for the great, the, the greater art and stuff like that. And it's so creepy and it just starts to get under your skin so much. And it's just so effective by the fact that he is a very good actor. Adrian Tolfi does an amazing job as Adrian in this movie. There were so many moments where it was so hard to see if he was his character in his movie or if he was his character not acting, like the director and stuff like that. And as the movie progresses, that line between these two characters gets thinner and thinner until you as an audience member realize that he's basically the same person. It, oh, very! it's just so good. It, such amazing acting on display for... Someone who really, I think, never acted much before. Uh, I'm not sure if this was his first film. I probably should have looked that up before I started this. But Tina, you could flash on the screen if it was, if it wasn't. But his acting performance in this movie is fantastic. And I know I'm talking him up, but our other characters in this movie, uh, Flori, Alexandra, and uh, oh, I think it's Sonia. It's either Sophia, Sonia, something like that. They are amazing. It It's so weird because it's one of those movies where you don't have an actor or actress that you recognize like an Emily Blunt or even like a lower tier actor like Nicolas Cage. There's no one that you recognize in this movie and it feels like you're watching someone actually record this and just any random person making like a bat like a backyard movie and that's the most effective part about this movie how disturbing it is and how these different elements add to that disturbing factor how it's a backyard movie how you don't recognize anyone so many things just go into it and it is fantastic i do have to speak on some cons though with the first one being the special effects aren't very great 
it, it's a low budget movie, so of course you're not going to get the best special effects. He does make do with what he can, and there's a lot of respect I have towards that. But just certain moments where, oh, if he had like at least another thousand or two thousand dollars, it could have been a little bit better right here. Luckily, there's not much need for special effects, but I, I do want to mention it because it's not the best. So the last con I have, which is probably my biggest issue, would be would someone who's not a horror fan like this movie? It it's something that I always try to ask myself when doing reviews and stuff like that. Would Could anyone watch this movie and really like it? And I feel like with this movie, the answer is no. I think a lot of people be like, oh, this is kind of stupid, but if you're a big horror fan, you would really be into this movie. So I do have to put it as a con because it w it's not as effective to everybody. So overall, I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. And like I said, if you're a big horror fan, I definitely recommend it. It's on Amazon Prime. I think it's also on Tubi. Uh, but if you're not that big into horror and things like this get under your skin, then I don't recommend it. It's not a movie that you want to watch. So thank you everyone for watching this review and be on the lookout for the podcast episode that just went up yesterday uh, from when this video is going to go up. We talk about Be My Cat, a film for Anne. That one's going to be filled with spoilers. This one I wanted to do kind of not really spoiling anything. So if you want the spoiler review, it will be in the podcast. So be on the lookout for that. But let's flash forward to the next review.